North Korea, it is likely to be one of the most savage conflicts in the history of war, with nuclear, chemical and potentially even biological weapons being unleashed. As such, U.S. forces in the region have to be ready to fight in contaminated areas. To prepare for such an eventuality, U.S. Marines from Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 121, stationed at Hiwakuni, Japan trained to refuel their Lockheed Martin F-35B Joint Strike Fighters while wearing mission-oriented protective posture level 4 gear. It's important to practice in mop gear because the Marines don't get many opportunities to wear this on a daily basis, so in the instance where they do have to wear mop gear in a real-life scenario, it's not going to be a shock or surprise to them of how they are going to operate, Staff Sergeant Martin Aldry, a maintenance controller with VMFA-121, said in a U.S. Pacific Command release. Training while wearing the mop gear allows the Marines to launch and recover their F-35BS while under attack from chemical and biological weapons or help to survive the fallout from a nuclear attack. It might be a skill that those troops could have to exercise in the real world soon if leaders in Washington don't get a handle on the North Korean standoff. As such, operating under fire from chemical weapons or having a nuclear weapon explode at some distance from the base is not an abstract concept. Tensions are high with North Korea and in the event of a war. Pyongyang might chose to launch its nuclear weapons. A large American air base is a logical target for a North Korean chemical or nuclear attack. However, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis seems to believe that diplomacy can avert a potential war with North Korea. There may be opportunity for talks, if they stop their shooting missiles, stop developing nukes, stop building more nukes, we can talk, Mattis said en route to Colorado Springs, Colorado. Mattis explained that the Trump administration is focused on resolving the North Korea crisis peacefully. We are being led right now, diplomatically, Mattis said. Everything we do is designed, the sanctions, the United Nations Security Council, two resolutions, unanimous resolutions, more economic sanctions, diplomatic persona non grata from a number of nations around the world, it's all designed to bring diplomatic and economic pressure on North Korea to change its course. But while the Trump administration might hope that North Korea changes course,